and welcome to London Transport Museum. My name is Daisy and I've got a special story all about keeping warm. Hmm. How do you like to keep warm? A big scarf, some woolly gloves, maybe a warm bath or a mug of hot chocolate? <laughs> now I'd love it if you joined in the story with me, so I'm going to teach you some actions. So first of all, when I say wind blows, we pretend to be a big gust of wind like this. Ready? Wind blows. Great. Then when I say the eastbound train goes a clattering by, we go like this. Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. Let's practice. The eastbound train goes a clattering by. Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. <laughs> Fantastic. Then we're going to go above ground where it's going to be really cold. So when I say even the seagulls seem to shiver, we're going to be really chilly and go like this. Here we go. Even the seagulls seem to shiver. Great. Then we're going to wipe the window of a bus. So get your sleeve and do a little sound like that. Then there's going to be some workmen. So we're going to pretend we've got a big pneumatic drill and go like this. <laughs> Great. And then finally, when I say both by the fire are snoring, we're going to pretend to fall asleep like this. <sighs> Fantastic. Oh, and one more thing. There's going to be a robin in the story. So when you spot the robin, can you do the sign with me? Let's practice. Robin. Great. OK, I think we're ready for the story now. Here it is. Keep warm. It's cold today, so let's keep warm and wear our winter uniform. Woolly clothes stop icy toes and prevent a runny nose. It's freezing out there, but we can't stay in with our cold faces and a chilly chin chin. Down to the underground we go as the wind blows. <sighs> Is that snow? Down below, the smiling guard says as you fumble for your oyster card, I hope you have a lovely day. A little tap and you're on your way. On the map, all the underground lines, a rainbow web of stops and signs. Which one to follow? Let me see. The silver line, the Jubilee. In the train, past the windows fly. The eastbound train goes a clattering by. Clackety clack, clackety clack, clackety clack. The carriage is cosy, we find a seat. But high above, there is snow and sleet. Then we reach our destination, up on the escalator at London Bridge Station, remembering what you must do without fail. Stand on the right and hold on to the rail. Back on the streets, the air is freezing, tickling my nose, almost sneezing. But I'm warmly wrapped in my winter clothes, nice and cosy, no runny nose. Walk along the south bank and look at the river where even the seagulls seem to shiver. Boom. By a burning brazier, a jolly man stands, selling roasted chestnuts to warm my hands. Like old Father Thames, you're daydreaming when, look, oh no, the bus is leaving. Up to the top, a cosy nook, wipe the window and have a look. As the bus waits at a traffic light, a robin in the snow, a wonderful sight, like a Christmas card your mum might send. But this Robin seems to have lost a friend. You wish that Robin could speak to you and say what it is, what it's trying to do, for it would only have to ask and you could help with its difficult task. But the bus moves off and away he goes, looking for someone, maybe, who knows, as the bus takes you home steady and slow, safely through the falling snow. On Oxford Street, 
Some workmen mend. Your bus on diversion goes round the bend. And you hear their drill banging away. The sound follows you round all of the day. Your bus takes you up a different street. You feel a bit worried it might not meet the familiar way you usually go past all the landmarks that you know. Some different shops and cafes too, all of them looking new to you. A cinema and a big diversion sign, an arrow pointing in a straight line. Just when you think you'll never get back, you turn into the high street, you're back on track. Your bus knows where your journey ends, for all the stops are like old friends. You run up the street and burst through the door. Your brother is washing the kitchen floor. Take off your boots and take care that muddy snow gets everywhere. And listen carefully, understand, I know. First, I must wash my hands. Good. Now hang up your coat on the right hook. I'll make some cocoa. Go get a book. He's not really fierce. He's really nice. You soap your hands, singing happy birthday twice. Then he reads you a story, which is just a bit boring. And soon by the fire, both of you are snoring. And that's the end of our story. Give yourselves a big clap. Thank you so much for joining in. Did you spot the Robin in our story? Keep an eye out for him because he might be appearing in some of our other stories. Thank you for coming and have a great day. Goodbye. Bye.